anything to do with tarot cards or Wicca or astrology or goth fashion or dark fashion or anything like that. It's totally completely different. And I was thinking that I might do some more stuff like this where I talk about like art or music or some of the other creative things that I'm into. So I do have some weird collections. For those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I have a 80s My Little Pony collection, a small one that I love because I grew up in the 80s and um, the early 90s. And um, also, um, for those of you, people who know me in person usually know this fact about me, but online people may not know this, is that um, my favorite band of all time is Guns N' Roses. I grew up, I was like a teenager in the late 80s, early 90s, so I was like kind of like that right age for that, but they're my favorite, favorite band of all time, and I have a collection of Guns N' Roses books, like books about them and stuff, and so I was going to show you my collection. I don't know if anyone's interested, but I thought I'd throw it out there and show you one of my weird collections. So first, I'll get to like the, the novel books later, but I'll show you first uh, some of the other like picture books and stuff that I have. Um, the first one I have is actually just like a music book because um, I do play guitar and I have um, an anthology which is just like the music notes so it's like like there's the music she music for November rain um, it doesn't have all their songs but it has like the big ones it's rocket queen so that's all it is it's just like you know it's the tabs um, and the music for for their music um, and then I have and these are out of print and I looked online and I could not find these. These are probably worth something now. But I got these back in like the 80s and 90s. And there's just like these books that used to come out. This is of course like before the internet, before you could just like look up pictures of bands that you like and find videos and all sorts of stuff. We didn't have that when we were kids. Um, so these were books that were put out and they're not magazines, although we do have magazines as well. But like this one and they've got like, band and they've got quotes and things and this one is from I'm gonna see how old this is 1989 this is 1989 um, and I'm sure there were something now but just like photos and things so they were kind of like things that that were put out for fans and then they have like you know a little story about how they like you know got to the top and all that kind of stuff that's that one there. So that's from 1989. This one's a little bit old, older. Uh, this one is, and it has more, more of the story. That one was more pictures and stuff. Um, and this one was more like about them and everything like that. Um, what year is this one? This one is, oh, 1993, so this one's, yeah. This one's like before, like probably right before they broke up. Um, and this one is the third one I have. Um, so it's photos, one of their, I think this one's like one of their official photographers, and this one's 1994. This is all like, lots of photos and things. like so that's these are really cool and they're just like it's it's kind of neat because you can't find stuff like this really anymore so I mean I never see stuff like this anymore in bookstores or anything and I think it's because of the internet but when I was young if you were like to band and they were like a big band you could find stuff like this so so those are my more picky books I'm gonna throw through like the novel type books I have and tell you which books are good and which ones are shite and to stay away from so ooh big pile here. Um, the first one I have is actually from, what year is this one? This one's an old one as well, and I don't think it's in print anymore either. 1991, and it's called Appetite for Destruction, and it's written by Danny Sugerman, who also wrote No One Here Gets Out Alive, about Jim Morrison. So, if you've read the Jim Morrison book, that is an amazing book. It's a really good book if you're into reading biographies about rockers. Uh, this one's a bit different. This one's like it goes into um, 
you know, how they got to the top and stuff about them and everything, but it really talks a lot about drug culture. Um, it talks about drug culture and how um, in the third, 20s and 30s, there was really a movement towards banning things like heroin and marijuana and things like that, um, mostly because they connected it with um, with African Americans and how it was like part of, you know, the suppression of that and suppression of, of different um, types of lifestyles and things um, by people who were part of like the temperance movement and everything like that. So it goes a lot into the relationship between music and drugs. Um, and it goes into also the relationship between art and drugs. So it talks about like Lord Byron and stuff. So it's actually like, even though yes, it's a book about Guns N' Roses. Um, it's actually like a bit more than that and I actually really enjoyed this. I haven't read this in years so I don't know if I read it now if I'd be like if I wouldn't like it but I remember I read it when I was well what year is this? What year did I say this was? It says 1991. I'm looking for the year 1991. Yeah I was right. Um, so I wrote, read this probably when I was like grade 11 or 12 and I thought it was a really cool book at the time. So it's kind of interesting. So even if you're not into the band, it kind of, you know, gives you some idea about that kind of history and stuff. Um, but it's interesting because knowing stuff that came out later about them, um, it's interesting in all the stuff that it kind of doesn't talk about with them. Um, the other ones are all from the 2000s and they're people who either wrote a book about themselves or about someone in the band. So first of all, I'm going to show you the worst book that I'm going to tell you if you're interested, like don't get this book. It's a piece of crap. It's what you bleed. Um, the Saga of Guns N' Roses by Stephen Davis. It has an error right on the first page when you open up. Um, where is it here? Uh, yeah, he has uh, Axl Rose's birthday wrong right on the first page, which right away I was like, that is something you could easily look up on the internet. Like anyone can look that up. And he has it wrong, which is like, if you can't get that fact right, you're probably not getting any other facts right. Also, I didn't read through the whole book, of, the whole book, but as I was reading it, because I thought, well, I'll give it a chance. Like maybe he has that one thing wrong. It's got errors all over it. There's like people he said so-and-so slept with that were dead. Like it's just, it's like somebody didn't really fact check and they just slapped a book together. So uh, cover looks great, but um, avoid this book because it's just it's a piece of shit and it has just errors all over it. It's alternative facts, so to speak. It's like somebody just made a bunch of crap up. Um, so don't get that one. Um, the next one I have, um, is Steven Adler, who was, who was the original drummer, wrote a book about his life, um, Sex, Drugs, and Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. This book's super disturbing. <laughs> this book's like, this guy's life is totally messed up. And, um, again, I didn't read all the way through this one. It's interesting, but it's like really sad and really disturbing because he, he got kicked out, I think, like three years into them being famous, two or three years, not long. Um, he was only in like two, the first two albums. And um, because he was too messed up on drugs. And if you're so messed up on drugs, you get kicked out of Guns N' Roses. That's pretty bad. Um, and his life just like completely fell apart. And it's, it's an interesting read, but it's like prepare to be like super disturbed by things. Um, the next book that I have is War, the Unauthorized biography of William X. Rose and it's okay it's okay it's um, this person did a lot more fact-checking I think and um, they I think are a lot closer to uh, what happened but again it's still a third party's perspective this person was a journalist and he, he dealt with the band somewhat so he does have like some inside knowledge and things but he still he wasn't the one that actually lived it so I thought it, it was interesting but I still took it with like a big grain of salt and the best one out of all these is the Slash one. Um, Slash wrote with a ghostwriter, but um, it's still really, really interesting. And it's very funny in some parts and very heartbreaking in others. And it just made me think about how, like, when I was young, I think 
we tend to idolize people that we listen to and um, think of them as sort of like you know these heroes and stuff in some ways and then this was really like actually made me really sad for him because a lot of the time like with the drugs and everything him and the others were actually really suffering and um, he has some pretty funny stories in here but um, overall it was good read and it's very interesting um, so that's the best one so far the only one I don't have which is on my list is the Duff McKagan one and he is an amazing writer um, because he was a bass player and he was written for see like since you know the band broke up although they're back together now but he's written for like Seattle Weekly, he's written for GQ, he's written for Playboy, he's written for a bunch of magazines, and he's always like very intelligent, very smart, super insightful, um, definitely has some interesting political ideas and things. So I'm very curious to read his book. I read like a little bit of it online, and it was, it, so like the little bit I read was really amazing. So I kind of want to get that one because I think that it would be an interesting read. It starts with his pancreas exploding from using too many drugs. It's just like crazy, but um, I want to read that one. So that one's on my list. So let me know what you think. Um, do you have books about like musicians and stuff that you really like? And what would you recommend? Because I like reading these kind of books. So let me know, like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.